Welcome back to Six Aside Sessions, the series that takes Sunday League football into Tuesday. Tonight we face up to a team called Cactus, spelt with a K. I heard they're a bunch of pricks, so let's hope we can deal with them in the usual Six Aside fashion. Featuring in the side tonight, obviously you can see there's no Sean, so someone's got to go and goal, but we've got Aaron, Tony, Connor, Kieran, Nick, Scottish before he broke his leg, and Wazza. As you can see, it looks like Nick's volunteered to go and goal for this first half. Let's see how we get on. Come on! Wazza is up top. He's up top. And he's going to score. Breaking news from Nolsey there as he thinks was is going to score. But it's actually Scottish with the ball here as he looks to take on his man. He fires it, but that goes wide of the goal. Here come our opponents now as they look to break. But Scottish is there to put him under pressure. But he's completely mugged off with this simple turn here. I'm not too sure if he meant it because he doesn't look too sure of himself here as number four picks up the ball on this near side. One thing I do like about this team is they've got numbers on their back. So I don't have to describe them by what they're wearing or their haircut. And our opponent completely misses it and it goes out for a goal kick. Was now playing the ball up to Kieran as he looks to take on his man. He does. He keeps the ball in. Couple of little drag overs there as he looks to play in Scottish. That's intercepted. Only as far as Aaron with the left foot into the back of the net. Q was a celebration. And so we carry on, and it's this ball that's cut out by Scottish. Reaches Kieran here as he brings the ball forward, looks up, fires the shot, but that's just wider the goal. Was over that far side now, looking to get past number 15. Sharp skills from him to get clear of him as he brings the ball up the field. Another man to take on here as he looks to do a step over, brings it to the byline, puts it in, but that's blocked and goes out for a corner. The corner's taken by Wazza into Connor, but that's cleared by our opponent and goes out for a throw. Down the other end, Scottish finds himself in a prickly situation as he loses out to number six here. He fires it, but Nick makes the save and puts it out for a corner. The corner's put onto the edge of the box, which is picked up by number two. His control lets him down as Connor looks to take it off him. Two holds onto it. Looks to get the shot in, but that's not going to trouble anyone. Here's Connor in our own half now, passing the ball out to this near side to his brother, Aaron, as he takes a touch, gives it back to Connor. As he brings it forward, he's unchallenged here, but number two looks to put him under pressure. He steps on it, keeps on going, fires with the left. Oh my... Did that go in? Yes, <laughs> Connor. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think anyone was expecting a shot from that angle, including the keeper. Rooted to the spot. Like a cactus. And so it's 2 0 to Palmer's FC, and straight from kickoff, Kieran gets the ball back, plays it into Connor, who hits the post. Here come our opponents now looking to play it out from deep, but Kieran's there to intercept that one. The ball falls to Wazza as he shoots. Yes! Get it! Come here, come here. Come here. Pressure continues on our opponents as they're made to play backwards and side to side and that pays off here from Kieran as that goes out for a corner. Putting the ball into the box is Kieran and on the end of it is our opponent who sticks it in the back of his own net. Another one who wants to play for Palmer's FC. 4-0. Here we go again, mounting more pressure on and it's a pinpoint ball from Kieran there up to Connor. Connor then gets the ball under control, keeps the ball in and on his right foot plays a lovely ball into the box. I have the needle stuff and he can't get it under, he puts it over. And that, my friends, is half time, and Nick is now out on pitch. That's his excited dance. So we start the second half with a corner. Don't ask me how we got there, though, because I was actually discussing bacon double cheeseburgers with Nolsey and Too Good. Obviously, a standard selection at Burger King, but did you know if you go into McDonald's and ask for a double cheeseburger, then ask for bacon on top, you've got yourself a bacon double cheeseburger from McDonald's. It's not on the menu, but you've now got it. Be sure to give it a go and let me know how you get on. Anyway, back to the match, and it's Connor that finds himself in on goal, but the keeper makes a save, but it only goes as far as Kieran here. Kieran fancies himself now, but the keeper makes another save. Possession for our opponents now, but Tony puts number four under pressure as he gives it to number five. Kieran intervenes there as the ball ends up with Nick. Can he get on the score sheet early? No, he can't. The post denies it and the rebound trips up Kieran. Down the other end now, our opponents look to make something happen, but this misplaced ball is picked up by Nick. He's got options left and right of him, but he opts for this near side with Connor as he's got one man to take on. He cuts it across Garn with a first time shot. Was as there into the back of the net, and that is now 5 0 to Palmer's FC. Come on! Do it, do it, do it! <laughs> a very subtle come on there from Wazza. Talking to Wazza, he's getting involved again. Nice little flick away from this player. Then he gets inside of two players, makes his way forward, plays it up to Connor. Connor hits first time with the left, but the keeper makes a save. Here come our opponents now, but that's another misplaced pass from them, and it's picked up by Connor. He's got Nick to his right, which he uses. Nick picks up the ball, looks up, fires the shot, but that goes wide of the goal. Wazza now playing the ball out of her own half to Connor here on this near side. There's little or no pressure on him right now, as it looks like our opponents are pretty much given up. But Connor looks to go on the inside, then he goes on the outside, drags it back, then plays it to Kieran. Kieran then plays a first time ball through to Connor who uses his strength to keep onto the ball. Nice little bit of skill there to put it across back to Kieran. Kieran with a Rabona across goal to Nick who slots it into the back of the net and that my friends is now 6-0 to Palmer's FC. Here comes our opponent now looking to break but he falls over too easy and Nick picks up the ball as he plays it out to this near side where Wazza is. He gets the ball under control as he holds on for a minute as he looks for a runner and he gets that in Tony over the far side who gets his head to it but that goes wide of the goal. Here come our opponents now and it's yet another misplaced ball from them. They've been doing it all night as Tony picks up the ball and releases Connor. Connor's got Nick and was 
Bowser to his right and he does in fact use Nick here as he picks it up on the turn, fires past the keeper into the back of the net, simple stuff, straight to the point, 7-0 to Palmer's FC. And that in fact calls time on this game. Just two games remaining in the league now and if we win the next one, we won the league. Hope you enjoyed this one and as always, thanks for your support and we'll see you in the next one. Connor now dragging the ball away from Trousers there as he looks to go into this near corner. And I know I keep calling him Trousers but on closer inspection, I really think they are Trousers. This lad's been at work all day, go on stick an orange shirt on, you'll be ready for this. 